Happy Valentine's Day, urban tasters and wine lovers. It is your girl, Felicia P. And I have a very special guest with me today, Yvette Simpson. And this is day 14 of the Urban Taste Black History Month Black Brands and Winemaker Feature Series. Before we get started, I want to introduce my fellow wine sister. As I said, her name is Yvette Simpson. She owns Wine Enculturated. We are so honored to have her here on the show. I'm saying show. Look, I'm speaking into existence. We're going to have a show, baby. The Urban Taste TV is coming. Let's go. I'm excited to have her here today <laughs> doing this tasting with me. Um, and so I'm going to give her an opportunity to talk a little bit about herself. And then we'll move into this fantastic sparkling wine as we celebrate love. So Yvette, tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Yvette Simpson. I'm a certified wine educator, proprietor of Wine Enculturated. Wine is inclusive, wine is culture, wine is curated. I bring wine tasting experiences to you based on what you love and like. And I do believe that wine is who you are. It meets you right where you are and it is for everybody. Wine is not an exclusive hoity-toity thing that is just for some people. Honey, wine is for all of us. And so Wine and Culture is about celebrating your culture through wine. Very excited to be here with you today. Oh, thank you for coming. I'm excited. That was beautifully said. As we've said before, our motto here, or one of our mottos here is, everybody loves wine, they just don't know it yet. That's and right. Yvette is on the scene to basically walk people through their passion and develop their love for wine. Right. So thank you for that. Let's get into it today. As we celebrate love, we are going to be highlighting the incomparable Mr. John Legend yes, and baby. his LVE French Sparkling Rosé, all right? So as we're opening this up, because you know, baby, it takes it's a minute. It takes a little minute. We got to get this full off. Yes. Well, what I love about this wine is we know John Legend is the epitome of love. How many songs has he written about love? And the fact that he has um, crafted a beautiful sparkling rosé, one of my favorite um, types of wine is rosé, and I love a good sparkling rosé, and rosé all day, every day. Don't tell, let people tell you you can only do rosé during the summer. Rosé sure. all day, every day. And the fact that we're doing this on the day of love uh, from a wine producer that is also an amazing artist who promotes love is just a beautiful symmetry to me. I, I definitely that. agree with that Who sentiment? doesn't love John Legend? He's from Ohio. Yes. Um, so we love that as well. And it's from France. Yes. Baby, where they do rosé. They do Don't rose. nobody do rosé better than Provence. That's right. Okay? They All do. right. So we're going to get this cork popped. Oh, Lord. Don't be scared of it. I ain't scared of it. I just, Woo! there we go. Hello. I love that sound. It's a beautiful sound. All right. So we got some bubbles. I don't know if you guys can see that. At the top, there's our label. All right, we're going to give our guest of honor the first pour. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, that. We, we got some manners over I here. Love it. And we are pouring this it. wine into these beautiful flutes. These are the wine enculturated champagne flutes. Custom etched, engraved. Yeah, go on, take it love up there that. and, and, and show them. Custom. Me engraved wine and culturated that's our logo um we have uh these available as well as regular uh, wine glasses both in white and red so we love it celebrating sure. wine is culture wine is inclusive wine is curious dang i'm good y'all see that that's perfect like perfect pour. okay that. so y'all see we got little bubbles in the glass Look at that logo. Yeah, <laughs> this exclusive. This y'all see in the here first, okay? All right. All right. So let's get into it. Right. Our four S's. You want to lead our S's? Yes. Yeah, C. We got Go C for first. It. Yeah, let's see. Okay. What you seeing? I'm seeing a beautiful color on her. She looks really good. Of course, clear. We always want her to be clear. What color you see? Oh, little salmon. Little salmon. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Look, look, look at that. I think that match my. Match with a little salmon top. Okay. Salmon color. And that was not planned, by the way. <laughs> okay. I like it. I like it. Of no floaties. The bubbles are looking really, really good. Some nice, good dainty. combination. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Small. You're going to skip it. You skipped it and went to smell. No, I, I get I, I'm doing it. that too. I get excited. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love, I will put my nose in a wine <laughs> before I even look. I just love to get my nose in it. That aroma to me is such an important. I agree. 
Mm -hmm. That smells amazing. Oh, a lot of fruit right at the front. Mm, I'm getting a tropical at the front too, which is interesting. Said, I thought guava. Yeah, that's right. I thought guava. I know that's weird. Tropical right at the front. I'm from the island. Typically, so. you get like a strawberry cherry out of a Provence rose, but this baby is good. Maybe when we taste it. Mm hmm. All right. Yeah, now, I'm definitely getting tropical right up the front. Good learning moment. I normally don't don't do this with a fellow wine sister, so I'm going all in. Yes. Now, it's a sparkling. It is a sparkling. Do we swirl it still? We do not swirl it. We do not. We don't want to agitate these bubbles, right? There you go. So we okay. don't swirl her. So that's, okay, so that's why you just skipped that stuff. You just went right to the bouquet. Right. So that that explains it. Okay, she knows what she I did doing. stop looking at it, though, because I was ready to get okay. it. Okay, all right. Well, cheers. Cheers. And let's sip. Let's sip. Let's see what let's she got. Let's see if we, we taste what we smell. With that texture so one of the things when you're doing a sparkling you want to talk about the texture how does it lay on your palate we're and not, man we're not ordinary look this thing maybe we want this to say <laughs> we're not ordinary this is not an ordinary <laughs> champagne i'm sorry i'm sorry john i'm sorry i'm sorry don't get me I'm to sorry, sing it and then we're gonna have a real long girl one. sing sing we're your not heart. ordinary people Ooh. We yes. don't know which way to go. I'm background. <laughs> I'm background. Cause we're ordinary people. <laughs> Maybe we should take it slow. Take it slow. Oh. All right. Oh. We don't, we don't take this on the road, y'all. We about to start look, singing. John, hit us up. I'm you need some look, background. I'm saying we got this, okay? <laughs> this is good. It is this really, is really delicious. good. Do we, are we tasting what we're smelling? Absolutely. So, it definitely, you know what else? It's got this velvet on it. Once the um, carbonation starts to dissipate, it's real light. And it's just got this wonderful texture that's just so creamy. The bubble, oh, creamy. I like that. That's a good one. It's like creamy toast. Mm -hmm. There's some toasty notes mm -hmm. like brioche. You know, they do that in France. Which is kind of like you, buttery bread. And I'm glad you mentioned the bubbles because it's very the bubbles are very delicate. They are delicate they're not that kind of like explode in your mouth you know like how you how you used to taste a a, a sparkling wine it's just you get a little burst mm -hmm. and just as you think you're going it just settles and kind of smooths out and you're like okay all right you know and then this you get that's when you start to get the, the flavor on right your on the back end oh, yeah I, I i think i think of it like light dancing on your tongue mm -hmm. your little light dance this is the soft life sparkling. And that's the thing, our soft life. It's so good. It is. I do. It's, look. I could drink that all day. And you know what? Some rosés can be a little too delicate on the palate, meaning you don't get much flavor. You get a lot of tart, but not a lot of fruit. This thing is laying on here and it's sitting with mm -hmm. me. And I love that. I love it when it lingers, right. the, the flavors linger. I mean, it's got gift. some good flavor on it she's still there I still taste her even from that last sip mm -hmm. it's pretty good I always give you know you know her him they she hey girl with my wine right, right for sure <laughs> yeah no, this is this is this is good yeah I like it yeah like notes dancing making the analogy to the music mm -hmm. dancing on your tongue it's definitely a melody honey it's, it's a, a melody, soft, soft melody, honey. Yes, this is I look, so this good. on the day of love for Valentine's Day. And whether we're talking about romantic love or friendship love or family love, today's yes. the day to celebrate all those things for sure. I definitely agree with that. And this is a good way to celebrate it. It is really interesting to me, though, how the tropical note is still really lingering. Like, I was waiting for a strong, I get a little strawberry, mm -hmm. more strawberry on the tongue than I yeah, do. Yeah, I don't get guava, maybe some melon, maybe it's something. But the fun I, part about wine tasting, and I know you talk about this a lot, is whatever it is that you're getting is right. And, right, because you know, your palate yeah, is and your it, palate. And you relate it to whatever makes sense for you. You know, if it, if it tastes like strawberry to you, you're probably right. If it right. tastes like, you know, a Jolly Rancher, that's probably right. Um, if it tastes like something from your childhood, describe it with that, and then you're right. For you sure. People, it's that's all... the most important thing. Bring your experience to right. it. Right. There's a base, and I always tell, you know, people that are watching... 
you know, your palette is your palette and it's going to be different from someone else's palette. We all grew up in various households, eating various cuisines. What might be spicy to me might not be spicy to you. Mm -hmm. And wine is kind of that same concept, mm -hmm. right? So you'll probably smell what everybody else is smelling or once they say it, you know, you'll get a little light bulb that goes off and says, oh yeah, okay, I can smell that. But the initial taste and the initial, you know, kind of reaction is yours mm -hmm. and, what, and what you like or don't like. So just drink it. And enjoy it. Try it, yeah, and 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 enjoy it. I do get like a, I was thinking about candy because a lot of times when I first taste wine, I kind of get a from one of my child. This is kind of like it's got a like um, the juicy fruit, um, Jolly Rancher kind of candied nature okay. to it. Are you getting that a little bit too? Like I'm not a big. Fruit? I'm not a big sweet person. I'm not really big on candy, but so maybe it's like the candied fruit. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um. And I'm trying to think like what what was you know I know we do like candy like pecans or candy you know nuts and stuff during the holidays. I know on the islands we do um, like a traditional black like like rum cake, mm -hmm. and we soak like raisins and figs and all kind of fruits and stuff in this brown sugar and rum and and I, maybe like that could be considered like candied mm -hmm. something. Um, I can maybe kind of correlate it to that, yeah, but but if you're not used to candy, and that's the thing about yeah. bringing your experience to it, because we all yeah I grew up, you know, the penny candy at the corner store. Mm -hmm. You know, you would you would go and I used to get in trouble because I would take my Sunday school money. Oh lord! And I would go to the corner store, mm -hmm. and then when it was time to take the collection, I didn't have it. But then I was at my family church, and so mm -hmm. um, they would tell my grandma, and then I would get in trouble. Mm -hmm. I spent my mm -hmm. spent my my church money on penny candy. On candy. That's uh, that's how you can pick up this candy. <laughs> it's in there. It's in there. That's it's like that like. juicy fruit. <laughs> that kind of, you know, that, that beautiful. I mean, it's not sweet. You say juicy. It's just right. juicy. It's something fruity. Something fruity is there. Yeah. For sure. And it's, got a, it's, it's not like a dry fruit. It's like a juicy fruit to me. For sure. I can agree with that. What does the winemaker say about this guy? I always like to look at the winemaker note to see the inspiration, even though. Again, it's all about what you what you experience. I don't know. They don't always yeah. have it on the bottle. But. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't put anything on the bottle. Yeah. Um, I do know that. I was reading that they said it um, has it's a bouquet. A it is a blend with. Let me make sure I get this right. There's Pinot Noir, yeah. Grenache, and which is ten percent Pinot, ten percent Grenache, and then an eighty percent white blend. Mm -hmm. And that white blend consists of Uni Blanc, Columbar, and Chardonnay. Right. So that. that you might be getting the fruity notes from the Columbar, because I right. think that's right. more known to be a, a like a fruitier, kind of sweeter, sweeter grape. grape. Yeah. yeah. And that's what people don't understand about rose. So people ask me about rose, and I'm sure you've done tons of lessons on your show about rose, is that you make you can make roses from white and red grape. And She's, I love Pinot Noir based. Mm -hmm. Rosés. I love Grenache based rosés. And that's where you get that, that body that sits with you. That Grenache got some weight on it. Yeah. Love that. I, I love think that. that's a, that's a, like the GSM varietal almost. Yeah. It kind of sneaks that yeah. in. Yeah. I pointed because she said show again. Oh, right. So I'm, I'm like 2023, baby. It's clearly, coming. Clearly, it's coming. I must be it's like speaking into, it, Come on, into existence. Come on. Yeah. I like her a lot. Are you comfortable giving it a rating? I don't know. Oh, you my, got your my, rating. You got your. I got my little five, cork. Yeah, my one five cork. And I just do that. You know, mm -hmm. don't don't hold me to it. But I, I found that when I do wine tastings or I go out and people want like recommendations mm -hmm. or if I'm if I'm shopping for a customer, um, you know, they may not understand when I when I talk notes and aromas and bouquets and they're just like. On a scale of one to like, what what right. number is it gonna be? So that's that's kind of why I like came up, you know, with that. That's a smart idea. So, for me, it's like, with this, is this a um, wine that I would want to come back to again and again? Mm -hmm. And yes, for sure. <laughs> I mean, this is something that right. if I walk by this label again in the store, I would pick it up and I would buy a couple bottles. This is something that I would share with someone else. This is a wine that I want to sit down and we might sit down after this is done and just sit back and chill with it. Right. It's definitely a wine that I would recommend to other people. For sure, I would agree with that. Mm -hmm. But if I had to rate it, mm -hmm. I would say a four. Yeah, it's 
That's four. Well, four point five. Yeah. Like it's in there, and and here's why. So fives obviously are like really hard, but I've given out some fives. But it's my scale, so I am a little biased. But here's why I give out fives. If it's something that I truly love, mm -hmm. and baby, when I sip it, it speaks to me, and it <laughs> make me do that. Like that's gonna be a five. Mm -hmm. I like this wine, mm -hmm. but I love rosés from Provence. Mm -hmm. My palate says if it's a if it's a rosé from Provence, not all of them, but if this came from Provence, I would probably say it's a five. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it's not, mm -hmm. I my palate kind of knows that, but I still like it. Mm -hmm. Like I really, really like it, and I will keep this in my collection, and I will recommend it. Very budget friendly. Mm -hmm. It's like twenty dollars a bottle. Wow, twenty dollars a bottle, and he makes a non-sparkling version that's twenty-five dollars a bottle. Okay. So if you don't like sparkling, you can do non-non-sparkling um, versions, five dollars more. But for twenty bucks, that's I think it's phenomenal. You get it. And I, I, I really like it. So I would say, you know, definitely a four, but I might do a little 4.5 because it is at least, you know, French. Right. But because it didn't come from Provence, which is where I love my rosés from, I can't give it that five rating. Right. So that that's, that that would kind of be my rationale. But yeah. I like it. I like keep it. Lot. Keep it coming. You got anything else you want to you no, add? I just want to say again, you know, wine is for everyone. And I um, want to appreciate John Legend um, for bringing this beautiful wine to us uh, as we celebrate love today. And uh, find a wine you love, find a person you love, spend time together and enjoy wine with a person you love today. Um, and if you don't hear you, I love you today, I love you. Yvette Simpson loves you today. And I'm sending love to everybody who's out there watching today. I can't let her say she love you and I don't say I love you. So... We I love, love you. you. Urban Taste loves you. <laughs> First Lady of Wine loves you. We love you. These wine sisters love you. So happy Valentine's Day. Cheers. Cheers.